Well, hello there, everyone. I'm Esther Barq. Uh, today's topic of this video is how do you know if you have unexpressed emotion, trauma stuck in your body? affecting your nervous system. We're gonna run some scenarios. We're going to look at this closely, create some awareness of what trauma you might be holding on to. It's a very important topic, especially for those of us who are into personal and spiritual growth and development because this unexpressed emotion comes up all of the time. But first, I am here to uh, announce, I'm very pleased to announce that after months of study and research and putting things together, I am ready to announce the upcoming online class. It's a 21 day event and it is about healing, calming, resetting your nervous system, releasing that trapped emotion and trauma and preventing new emotion from embedding in your body, right? It goes twofold, releasing, but let's not bring any more in. And I'll put a link below. You can check that out. But right now I'm doing this video and I'm going to do a few videos moving forward between now and the start of the class to really support this and create understanding and awareness about what this trapped unexpressed emotion is doing all right so this is going to be this video is going to be like a, a little mini class and i hope you stick with it because i really believe that somebody everybody's going to walk away with a piece of information here that is valuable to them and will help you on your life's journey all right so if i'm new to you <laughs> my name is Esther Barkew. I am a core belief therapist. I'm an intuitive and energy reader, super fan and student of astrology. I combine a very dynamic core belief therapy I've been doing since 2004, that's 17 years, with energy healing and spiritual mentoring and, and working with vibration and manifestation to offer my clients really grounded and practical guidance and advice, but also to help them create deep change within so that they can create change in their outward reality. So welcome, and if you like this kind of information, hit the subscribe button so that you'll always be the first to know when I put out a new video. So we all hold unexpressed emotion. We all have a nervous system. This is an important topic. Even if you're thinking, oh, but Esther, I've been doing this for a very long time. I'm very seasoned in personal and spiritual growth and development. Um, my findings working with a lot of people over these 17 years is that we all hold trauma in our body, okay? We've been flushing it out, flushing it out, flushing it out, but often there's still a little bit. So let's. Let's learn about how to deal with it effectively once and for all. So before we get into the question, how do you know you have unexpressed emotion in your body? That's the topic of this video. We're gonna back up a bit and I wanna to talk to you about your nervous system. I'm gonna keep it very simple, very easy, but it's a term we use a lot, right? Nervous system comes up in my sessions with clients all the time. But do you know exactly what your nervous system is? Okay, so the nervous system is part of our body's communication system, okay? The communication travels through nerves and electrical impulses in our body. And the nervous system coordinates all of the activities of the body and it responds to changes within and changes in our outward environment. So it's always like, What's changing? What's changing? Let's send pulses. Let's send information. What do we need to do to rebalance, rebalance, rebalance? And a healthy nervous system, that's exactly what it does. It's the command center always working to keeping, uh, keeping us in a healthy balanced state. But when we begin to store emotions, when we store trauma, when we get stuck in fight or flight response, the nervous system is an overload. 
okay? And it's not able to do its job effectively. And I'm gonna do a separate video talking about that. That's just the basics I wanna give you about the nervous system. So what might be this trauma or these unexpressed emotions that you're holding in your body? That's a really good question. So it might be anything from fear, okay? It could be fear, hurt, control, shock, shock, grief, resentment, this unexpressed emotion, it could even be like a sound, right? A, a sound or noise gets trapped in your body. A memory, a memory from the past, a memory of a past situation. It could be a burden, right? A burden or a responsibility, anger, lots of people holding on to anger, anxiety, frustration, shame, lots of shame, regret, um, as I said, memories of past events, something that is unresolved, that is unresolved mentally, emotionally, spiritually can get embedded into the body. And it can be trapped anywhere in the body, okay? So our unresolved, unexpressed emotion trauma doesn't just all go to one place, it can be anywhere. Uh, common places are your lower back, uh, the chest, your heart, throat, right? Throat chakra, um, stomach, right? I just see that person like, oh, I just feel this feeling in my stomach. Um, in your spine, runs up and down your back. Your head, of course, this is sometimes where headaches come from. The neck, shoulders, your knees, your shoulder blades. Uh, the nervous system runs throughout our whole body the unexpressed emotions can be held anywhere in the body. So there really is an entanglement, okay? So when I say we're going to heal the nervous system, we're going to reset the nervous system in this class by doing it in a calm state. When the nervous system is calm, it can do its function, its job to help the body regenerate and heal as well. Okay, so they're very closely related. You 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 have to work with both at the same time. And we're, we're going to do that. So how do you know you're holding on to trauma and unexpressed emotion? Well, the body will also will give you signals. Okay, trouble breathing. <sighs> right? There's something going on here. There's a feeling there's something going on here throat and voice problems, okay? So for those of us who do personal and spiritual growth, we call it often throat chakra work, expressing your will, fear of expression, true self. But if you've got problems with your throat and voice, that's often an indication that you're holding on to this unexpressed emotion. Um, fatigue, feeling lethargic. Uh, tension anywhere in your body, numbness, whether it's parts of your body going numb or you just feel numb to life, okay? When you feel numb to life, when I'm working with a client like that, they've often, that's a strategy of life is too much, I don't wanna feel anything, so I'm gonna numb it, or there's too much going on in here, I don't wanna feel it, so I'm going to numb it. Okay, this is where ad addictions come from. Alcohol, food, drug, sex, shopping, whatever it might be. Let's numb whatever's going on, but I want to help you to, let's move it out so you don't have to have those sabotaging strategies and patterns, and let's have tools to prevent new stuff from coming in, okay? Anything chronic. So yeah, we get stressed sometimes. We get fatigued sometimes. Um, you know, we have aches and pains sometimes, but anything that's really chronic, okay? Chronic stress, chronic insomnia, chronic anxiety, chronic meaning persistent, difficult to ease or release is often a sign of you're holding on, you're holding on to trauma within. And mystery aches and pains, right? 
you know, doctor, naturopath, I've got a pain here, I've got an ache here. Oh, we don't see anything wrong, but you know that there's something going wrong. There's something wrong. You know, that's a, a, a good indicator. In fact, a lot of people will come to me and say, listen, I've had every test <laughs> and the doctor says, uh, you know, I'm crazy. There's nothing wrong with me, but I know that something's going on. So it's obviously embedded on a mental or emotional, maybe spiritual level of the body. Can you help me, you know, discover it? Like, let's discover what's going on so it can be removed. And I help people with that all the time all right um how do you know you're holding trauma unexperienced emotions it's also a feeling okay so if you're always feeling on edge on alert looking looking always on alert um feeling anxious okay again this is chronic every day many times through the day you know when people are like wringing their hands it's that that's a sign there's something going on unexpressed within uh, depression once you get to the point of depression you've moved maybe through sadness and you're in depression unexpressed emotion any of those lower vibration emotions when they're when they're a constant especially then at that point you know for sure so grief sadness worry maybe you feel like giving up on life okay or you're always scared or sometimes you feel it like as an energy running through your body, but it doesn't feel good, right? Um, and you have to differentiate between, ooh, is this just a new energy vibration moving through my body and it's unusual to me, so I have to get used to it, right? When we get downloads and, and, and higher vibrations and new light coming in, sometimes it feels weird at first because we're not used to it. Or is it that feeling like, ooh, this is triggering something inside that's saying this does not feel right okay um and victim mentality if you're living in a victim mentality where you really feel like the world is out to get you and nobody cares and nobody loves you and nothing ever goes right for me and only good things happen to other people uh, that is also a strong indicator that there is unexpressed emotion or trauma within. All right. Um, if left unaddressed, this unexpressed emotion can lead to physical issues, right? It builds up, it builds up, builds up, and then eventually becomes illness, disease, something more serious. Uh, it can really suppress your immune system just to affect your overall health, okay? Uh, but sometimes people lose mobility in their body or they're always having accidents, right? Uh, uh, shingles. Shingles is a sign of stress. Sciatica problems, Parkinson's, multiple sclerosis, stroke, epilepsy, high blood pressure. These are some of the conditions that there have been studies of connection to unexpressed emotion that, and that's just a short list okay so we don't want to get to that point so we want to release this emotion this trauma and if you are at that point it's okay you can turn it around you just need to let it out okay also if left unaddressed, this trauma, and I'm using those terms interchangeably, unexpressed emotion, trauma, because that's usually what it is. It can really affect us psychologically as well, not just the physical bodies, but psychologically. Um, we become numb from feeling emotion or we feel too much, like we feel everything everything acutely losing interest in life holding yourself back you hold yourself back from life um, as protection because whatever's going on inside maybe you lash out all the time like you're you've met people who are just angry all the time and shouting all the time and and you might look at them and say my god i don't want to be around them 
you know, look at them and say, wow, they're, they've got a lot of trauma, unexpressed emotion within, you know, maybe how can I help them or make a suggestion to them, all right? Um, if you're a control freak, that it can help you become like a control freak when you have this unexpressed trauma within. It can create deep insecurities and lack of confidence. Um, hoarders, hoarding, okay, that's usually also another sign of unexpressed emotion. When you're an adult, but you act like a small child, okay? Um, unexpressed emotion will prevent you from things. So prevent you from living, loving, satisfying relationships, okay? Maybe from having the job that you want, living the life that you desire, uh, being a full expression of yourself, sharing with the world your gifts, talents, and abilities in whatever way you want to. It can really hold you back and then even a step further and it can even paralyze you. Like when people say, I'm stuck, okay? You're not really stuck because every day we are moving forward as a collective, right? Because we're always in motion, but I honor that feeling of stuck. So what is going on? What's trapped inside that is paralyzing you to make a move in life, okay? Um, feelings of I'm not good enough, I'm not capable, the world is scary, nobody cares, nobody loves me. This is part of the psychological indicators you're holding on to unexpressed emotion and trauma. You know, I, as I said, I've been working for 17 years with people around the world on their belief systems. Okay, that's the foundation of my my work to discover, explore, and change limiting beliefs, but also the systems created around it. All right. And what I have discovered is that unexpressed emotion and trauma held within plus limiting beliefs are what stops people from moving forward in their lives, um, manifesting their dreams and desires. And this is why I'm so passionate about this because I want everybody, myself, everybody, to be living a really great life, no matter what's going on in the world, to live a really great life, you know, doing what brings you joy and, and having fun in the process. So we've got to release what's going on within. All right. So I've been doing this belief work and Naturally, in the course of a session, emotions would come up and I would do my best to, you know, express it. It's okay. Let it move. Don't hold it back in and, and do this little bit of coaching in the middle of these sessions. But one day, I, I, after a particularly heavy session where there was a lot of emotion coming up, I'm like, I can do more. I, I need to find out... Is there something else in the middle of a session I can offer as a tool, as a technique to help move this up and out? Is there something I can give that client to do in between our sessions when emotion comes up to purge so that it can detox and leave rather than, you know, skimming the surface or being pushed back down? And that's what really prompted me to start researching um, this topic this topic, very, very important. So I said that we were gonna run some scenarios, okay? So I've, I've given you a lot of practical information, but let's run some, some scenarios on how you might be noticing or you might be experiencing in your day-to-day -day life this trauma coming up saying, help me, express me, you know, let's, let's, let's move through this. So. If you've ever been somewhere and you bumped into someone on the street or you just saw them or you've heard their name and you get that hot flash feeling that goes up through your body, particularly through your neck and to your head and it's like that, it's that hot flash. That is an indicator that you're holding on to unexpressed emotion and trauma. 
and it just got triggered by seeing that person. Maybe, maybe, maybe you, you see a person who's harmed you in the past and it happens, or you broke up with somebody, your partner, and it's two weeks later and you see them on the street walking with a girl and you know it's not his mother, you know it's not his sister or cousin, and your mind goes to all kinds of places, but you get that hot burning feeling going through your body because there's unexpressed emotion and trauma from that relationship still in your body, okay? Or maybe you hear of somebody or you see them and maybe you wronged them in the past and you're holding on to guilt and shame about it and you get that hot flash feeling. That's very common. In fact, all of these scenarios I'm about to run through you, I have experienced all of them at some time or another, and I bet you have as well. Maybe you're watching a movie, a commercial, a video, a TikTok video, and you burst, in, it touches something, and you burst into tears, and you're sobbing, and it's like, you know, it, it, sometimes it's uncontrollable, not just gentle tears, it's uncontrollable. It's a, it's a real outburst of emotion. And that tells me that emotion was trapped inside and whatever you are watching resonated, activated that emotion so you could get it out, okay? Which is good, it's a good technique, but what did you do? Did you actually let it up and out or did you push it back in? Did you stifle your tears? You know, what did you do with it? And what else might be trapped inside, okay? If you are really reactive to noises, like really reactive to noises, whether you hear a bang somewhere or a siren of an emergency vehicle or a click of a door, any door, because it takes you back and reminds you when dad was coming home and you and your brothers and sisters would hear the click of the door and you're like, oh no, dad's home. Okay, um, maybe a squeak, right? Because maybe that squeak also reminds you of something. And every time you hear a squeak, you just, you totally go back to that because there's unexpressed emotion trapped inside. Okay, um, indicator of unresolved trauma. Cringe moments. Oh my gosh, I have those all the time. <laughs> so um, you read something, somebody says something, you watch something and it resonates with something in your past unresolved and you cringe. Oh, I did that. I said that. My God, I wish I didn't act that way. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I did that. Okay. Um, regret. All right. If that unexpressed emotion was not there, you would go, oh my gosh, I did that in my past. I'm so glad I don't do it anymore. Okay. That to me is an indicator that you've got the memory, but the emotional charge of it is gone. So this is not about getting rid of memories. Your memories are your memories. It's part of your past. It's, it's who you are. It's what's brought you to where you are today but the emotional charge of it, when it's swimming around in your body, in your nervous system, through the layers of your conscious and subconscious mind, in your cells, it's not doing you any good mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually. Okay, so cringe moments. Um, have you ever been in a situation where you want to cry, you want to shout, you want to like, no, you know, or you fall and you want to, you want to scream, and but you're like, I can't cry. I can't cry. I don't want to embarrass myself. I don't want to embarrass the people I'm with. Um, I don't want to cause a scene. I don't want to be perceived as dramatic or uh, complicated. Or maybe you grew up with a belief of, you know, don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. And you push that emotion down and maybe you never released it. So for those of you who follow me on social media, um, you may have seen uh, that I fell here in Budva in front of the supermarket about a week ago and I hurt my foot. And when I fell, 
I had learned years and years and years ago that when you fall, you never get up right away. Okay, especially for us Canadians on ice, don't get up right away. You, you become aware, you orient yourself. What's going on? What's happening? Um, am I okay? Is there any pain shooting through my body? You really have to assess things before you get up and move on. Otherwise, you can aggravate the situation. Most people don't. They're embarrassed and they want to get up and out and get me away from this situation as much as possible. So I learned that years ago. Thank goodness. So I'm on the ground and I could feel these energies of people coming to help me and I didn't like it because their swoosh of energies was taking me out of the moment of assessing but also making sure that the shock of what just happened was not getting embedded in my body. So that was a perfect example for me to use the tools that I'm going to be teaching you during this one 21 day event. So I actually went chikai, which means wait. <laughs> And I had a security guard and, and two ladies beside me and they just kind of backed off a little bit. I think it surprised them that I said that. I assessed myself and then I reached out for the secure, security guard's hand. I could see I could stand on my leg because I knew it wasn't sprained, it wasn't twisted, it wasn't broken, I could stand on it. And then he took me to his chair and he said, should I sit down for a moment? And I sat there and I just continued to just breathe and process the event because I'm like the shock of this I don't want it embedded in my body I was able to do my tools right in the moment okay so a tip you can take away from this is that you know yes of course if you fall right assess everything around you assess everything around you before you get up but it's very important if you are feeling a wave of emotion and you're embarrassed and you don't want to express it, know and understand it is for your own good, it is for your own health to express it in the moment. So one of the things that I teach uh, for parents, anybody with children, taking care of children, just with children, when a child falls, right, riding on their bike, falls down, takes five seconds, then they realize maybe that they're hurt and there's crying, okay? Typically a parent, a caregiver, an auntie like myself, we wanna run there and say, it's okay, it's okay, I love you, it's okay, you're okay, you're okay, right? And what I have learned is that's actually really not very helpful, okay? Um, I'm not a child psychologist, but I do work with children. I understand patternings. I understand how to prevent trauma from embedding in the body. So I'm offering you this information from that perspective. The best thing is to allow that child to do what it needs to do. Scream, cry, shake, right? That's get the shaking gets the emotion out. It's good. When you go to them and hug them and tell them that everything is going to be okay, they stop shaking and that energy gets embedded. So I'm, I'm giving you this example with a child, but it could be anybody. You know, when I do in-person events, I haven't done in-person speaking events in a very long time, but I do retreats. And what I tell my, my, my guests, the, the people attending, whether it's my talk or my retreat, I said, if you see someone going through an emotional uh, release, leave them alone. Do not touch them. Do not touch their shoulder. Do not go hold their hand. Do not do anything. Let it out. Because the moment you touch that person, you stop the expression. Okay? Not all the time, but most of the time you stop that expression which means they're holding it in and it's going to be embedded when they're at a prime opportunity to let it out so you let the child you let the person allow it to come out come out come out and what i would do this is just a suggestion is you just move closer and closer and closer to them and then you'll be beside them or on the ground if they're a child and and say something like what do you need from me and if the child says, you know, hug me, hold me, or they want to, you know, climb up into your lap, then you do it. Okay. Maybe you need to pay attention to a scraped knee or, or something like that. Or you might say, can I touch your leg to make sure everything is okay? 
but give that person, that child, that adult, that time to whew, express in the moment, to shake, to cry, to wail, to get it out so it does not get embedded. Okay, I hope that's a, a good tip, a good takeaway for you. So I could go on and on and on with these scenarios, but I really think that you get the picture and probably as I've been going through it, something's been coming up saying, oh, that happens to me or, oh, I remember that happened to me last week. I, I, I must still have unexpressed emotion from that situation that happened years ago, still in my body, okay? So for me, I want to continue to help people changing their limiting belief systems, but expressing this emotion is part of it, okay? And I wanted to do better for all of you, for myself, for all of you. And that's what prompted me to do the study, do the research, do the experimentation on myself and my clients and come up with a bunch of tools and tips and techniques and energy exercises to, first of all, when I'm working with you one-on-one -on -one and an emotion comes up, that I can do better to guide you through the shift, okay? But also to equip you with tips, tools, and techniques that when you're doing your own inner work, when you're just living day-to-day -day life and you're walking down the street and you see that person and that energy comes up that you don't push it back in, you're gonna say, ooh, I'm going to do this and I'm gonna let it up and out once and for all, okay? And then what was also very important is to prevent new trauma from embedding. So when a new situation comes up, like when I fell on the street I knew what to do not to embed the shock. And if you saw the uh, video I did on my Instagram stories about that, I was kind of like laughing a little bit. and like, okay, I'm okay. And we're, I don't know, I'm five days in. My foot is still really swollen. It's really bruised. Um, I can walk slowly. I can't walk far at all, but it's okay. I'm taking really good care of it. And thank you to everyone who, sent me either love and light, um, I got a distant healing session um, with tips, you know, everybody's telling me ice, elevate, <laughs> uh, Arnica, I did all of those things. Thank you so much to everybody. Your love was really appreciated. I'm well on the mend now. All right. So that's why this 21 day program was created to offer you these three things. So this is not a medical program. I'm not here to t teach you about the nervous system in the body. This is not a psychological program where I'm gonna teach you about all the psychology of trauma. Now, I am going to mention these things because it's very important for us to have basic awareness, okay? as we're using these tips, tools, and techniques, okay? But basically, you don't have to know anything about the psychology of trauma to do this program. You don't have to know anything about the nervous system. You just need to gather these tools and implement them and use them, okay? So they're very simple, very, very practical tools that you can do anytime, anywhere, like I did, sitting in the chair in front of the supermarket, lots of people around me, um, to everyone else, I looked like I was just sitting in a chair. If they didn't see me fall, they would have not known what was going on as I was processing myself, making sure that that shock didn't get embedded. All right. Um, the outline, okay, the outline of the program. So it's 21 days and we're starting August 22nd. Now, why August 22nd? Glad you asked. It is full moon, but let's pull full moon aside because... There's lots of things happening in the cosmos beyond full moon, new moon. What I did was I researched of the month of August, what is the best day to start something new? And that's August 22nd. Anything that you start on August 22nd, I know full moons are about endings and closures, right? So this is a, a different perspective. We're looking at it from a different perspective. Anything that you start new on the 22nd is really gonna get seeded 
and build up m momentum and, and can bear you really good fruit. So that's why I chose that date. Okay, so on August 22nd, we're going to start that day. And then every third day, I'm going to send you an email with a, a short teaching and then some kind of tip tool or technique. I'm going to do a video, something like this, that's supplementary. That's going to offer you more information. Okay, the videos I'm going to post on a private list, private link on YouTube. So everybody can have access to it, right? And emails... People get emails, <laughs> all right? And then um, I've created a WhatsApp chat group. So you'll get the link to that when you sign up. And this is the place where you and I are gonna hang out for 21 days. You're gonna have my full attention for 21 days. I'm very active on these group chats. I believe community is so important for accountability, for support, for friendship, for like-mindedness. Um, you know, I, I really encourage you to join the group chat. This is where you can make comments. Tell us your experiences as you're trying out the different tools and techniques. Um, ask me questions. Maybe something comes up and you need it to be, uh, we need to troubleshoot it. You and I, the group will have some input as well. And just, a, like I said, a beautiful community. And I, I really feel that is important. And then what I've also done is included an option to do a private one-on-one, -on -one, one hour session with me at a very special price. And what you and I can do, we can do a bunch of things in this hour. If you wanna to talk to your nervous system, I'll guide you through a communication with your nervous system. And we can find out things about what's embedded, when did it embed, you know, how do we get it out, what's the best method, you know, uh, what do you need nervous system to function more op optimally. We could have a conversation like that. Or maybe you're going to come to the session and say, Esther, every time I do inner work, it always reverts to eight-year-old me which means there's still something, you've been doing work and you've been chipping away at it, right? But there's still something there that always takes you back to that same situation, that same instance at eight years old that is unresolved and you say, let's turn within, let's talk to this eight year old, find out what's going on with beliefs and strategies and emotions and feelings and let's love her, let's acknowledge her, let's heal her, let's help her to release all of this, right? So that she is not functioning at the level of that hurt eight-year-old inside of you anymore. That she's free, she's free now to grow up. She's free now to be herself, unencumbered by that trauma, that emotion, those beliefs, okay? Um, Basically, whatever you want to work on in that hour, we can do it together. Now, it is when you go to sign up for this program, there's a program price and then there's an additional sign up for the personal session. Okay. And the special price of the personal session, it's only for people who sign up for the program. It's something that I like to do just to say, here's the program, it's fantastic. And if you want to kick it up a notch, let's do a personal session and let's even go deeper. All right. You have three months to use the session. And I've got information about the sessions on the information page. Of course, if at any time you have any questions uh, for me about it, please reach out. Okay. Um, so at the end of 21 days, what's going to happen? Well, there will be change. There will be some kind of change to your body, your nervous system. There will be some kind of a release of emotion because just practicing, just practicing these tools is going to create some kind of a release. Okay. And then because you're going to have this toolbox of tools and techniques and things to do when unexpressed emotion comes up so you don't push it back down when something new happens so it doesn't get embedded as you begin to use it in your everyday life in your own personal inner work the changes will accumulate and accumulate and accumulate we're looking for a big flush big flush of energy here all right and 
so there's going to be some kind of shift. There'll be some kind of a change with the nervous system, which means there's going to be a change with your body, a change on the emotional and the mental and the spiritual level. You'll be inspired. You'll be feel more confident. Um, you'll begin to feel more like your true self, right? Because that trauma was, um, was hiding you, right? It had, it had you under that bushel. All right, so that's the basics of this program. Uh, watch for more videos. I, I'd like to do a few more before this class starts to uh, help you, help you to prepare. Whether you join us or not, I sure hope you do. I've made this program really affordable for everyone, okay? And if you're on my newsletter list, you're going to get and for those of you who are uh, receiving my newsletter, I am sending out, you probably already have it, a coupon code for an additional savings. It's one of the perks of being on my newsletter uh, list to receive extra discount coupons. If you are not receiving my newsletter, go to my website, whispersfromthesoul.com. You can sign up there. All right. So um, I'm going to put a link below. If you're watching this on YouTube, I'll put a link below where you can access the information page, the sign up page, learn more about this class. Uh, if you're not watching this on YouTube, look around somewhere, there's a link, I'll have it posted. And if you're saying, Esther, I just don't see any link, just go to my website, whispersfromthesoul.com and on the home page, you're going to see three boxes right in front of you. And the first box is a, a click through to the information page for this program. All right. So I will see you again with uh, more videos of support. In the meantime, I love you. I care for you. And let's do.